Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen, Pastor Joanne, my daughter. The Lord has spoken with me again. I just want your listeners world over to know that the Lord Jehovah, the creator of heaven, the Lord that uh, chose Jerusalem, he has spoken with me again about the mighty, mighty, mega revival that is coming to Lagos. This is absolutely very shocking to me also at this point in time that the Lord can have such a relentless and non-ending conversation about the upcoming glorious revival meeting in Lagos, Nigeria. There will be the two days of conference of pastors and senior leadership of the church. And then after that, there then will be the mighty, mega, grand healing service that will take place in Lagos, Nigeria. Now, this past night, the Lord Jehovah, the God of heaven, he took me to that meeting in Nigeria. And again, he showed me the mighty visitation that will take place there. And this time around, he showed me this man. I think he looks like... Uh, they are in their middle age or something. They, they were all maturing men, young men about to mature, that was blind. I don't know. When I look now, I see like there are two, two blind people. And the Lord opens both of their eyes. And then they stretch their hand, hands, hands like this to greet, as in greeting. They open the fingers and stretch towards me to greet me so they can now see. And it was such a beautiful moment in the kingdom of God Almighty, in the kingdom of Jehovah. It became the biggest underscoring and the biggest gain in this kingdom of righteousness, in this mighty move of holiness that the Lord is bringing back to the church. Again, this is what the Lord is saying at this hour about what is going to happen in Nigeria, in Lagos. And so the Lord has spoken with me about the mega visitation that will take place at the Grand Healing Service in Lagos, Nigeria. And uh, he this time around took me to that meeting. And there are these two, they look like they are two, they are young men, young men, young men, uh, almost coming to mature, but young men. And uh, they were both blind. And I see that their eyes open as the man of God walks towards them, and, and their hand, their hand, now they take their hands, they, they stretch their fingers, and take their hands to greet me, the way people take hands to greet, arranging their fingers vertically like this, vertically to greet me, and it was such an awesome moment to behold, and so this is a very mighty time in the history of the church, and again, like I said, the Lord is now working with the church, is now talking to the church, he's engaging the church at this hour, and he's speaking very clearly to the church. And yesterday I shared a little bit on how the Lord Jehovah, Jehovah, he removed the Israelites from that land of Egypt, the land that is a plain, the, the desert that is, is a stretch plain, a land whose terrain and landscape is monotonous. He is boring, has nothing to write home about. And uh, then he said he was moving them to a land of mountains and valleys that drink rain directly from God Almighty in heaven. And I said yesterday that you can see that the two landscapes, this other landscape of mountains and valleys drinking rain directly from heaven, First of all, there is no way the Israelites would have watered, would have irrigated the mountains. You know, that is just unbelievable. And there is no way the practice they had in Egypt would have helped them in this land of mountains and valleys. And I said the beauty of the land that brings rain from heaven, the land of mountains and valleys, it is so rich to the eyes compared to the desert plain. I say it is so inspiring to the spirit, to the soul. And I say it, that now I am saying this today, and he said the drinking of rain from heaven, I am saying that that was meant to cause them to adhere, 
to obedience and to the holy worship of Jehovah for their own survival and their own well-being. And there was so much benefit in the Lord moving them from the land of Egypt to the promised land of mountains and valleys. And you see very clearly drinking rain directly from heaven. And so if you read the book of Mark, the book of Mark talks about this man that sowed his seed and went to sleep. And then at night, the Lord came and watered the rain. He watered the fields. And then it grew. And then the corn heads also picked up. And there was a big harvest. So this is essentially what Jesus was saying in that parable. But the Lord had said it to the Israelites on this side. That when the land that the cloud of God is taking you to is now a land of mountains and valleys that drink rain directly from heaven. So even as you are asleep in your bed that night, in the comfort of your homes, the Lord would water your fields at night, and your crop would grow for as long as you adhere to a holy worship unto the Lord. This is what the Lord is saying to the church world over today in this message to Nigeria. He's saying that if we will now follow the righteousness and the leading of God in this cloud, the cloud of God that is centralizing the cross of Jesus, back to the blood of Jesus, back to the righteousness of Jesus, back to the holiness of Jesus, back to the true gospel of the blood and the cross, the gospel of repentance and turning away from sin. But if the church will now follow this cloud as the Israelites did, then he will lead them to that beautiful mountain, the beautiful valley, the, the land of mountains and valleys that drink rain directly from heaven. And so the land that inspires the soul, the soul is inspired to follow God because he realizes that this land solely depends on the Lord. So there's an inspiration here now to adhere to holy worshiping of Jehovah, the worship of the Lord, that they may prosper, that they may survive, that they may live both in this life and the life to come, the life eternal. May those who have ears prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. I have seen the Lord coming for the church, coming for a holy church. I see him take a holy church. Behold, this is the hour to prepare, because the messenger of prepare the way is right now here. Shalom. Shalom.